Welcome to the George FT TV YouTube channel. Today we have the round two review, and it was a tough one for us. Uh, we scored 1,955, rank 25k. So last week was was good for us. This week, no Luke Jackson, no Zach Butters. Both scored 180. Bench Sanders, which was idiotic, which we knew he'd bounce back, and bench Cadman too. And fielded a Sam Berry 50. Then Ollie Wines is kind of blocking our M6 position where our defense has completely fallen apart uh, quite horribly this week. Um, yeah, it's not it's not pretty. And we are very lucky for best 18s because we got injuries, we got underperformers, we got priority trade outs. And yeah, I don't think we can fix it this week, but I think the week after we'll see. But anyway, um, yeah, rank's not that great, but i uh, see how we go. And yeah, the damage of McKercher over Barry over McKercher, uh, I knew it was, it was very risky and unnecessary. I just liked Barry, and um, we paid a very heavy price for that, and, and we deserved it, so that's all right. I've absolutely copped it for it, and rightly so, Discord, but that's all right. Um... So what did we do last week? We traded Fisher, who turned up, to Billings. With Fisher, I figured Bailey Scott and what's his name's back there, uh, Sheasel, Fisher, McKercher. There's just a lot to go there through there. So I figured I don't think he'll do 90 plus with all those users back there. And it did help that I think Marvel suits him and he gets Marvel again. So if we're gonna that's gonna be a bad antipod for us. So I don't know if that was the right move. Uh, but I think long term it'll be okay. Obviously, Billings wanted a bit more from him, but I mean, we traded a, a halfback flank to a winger half forward. I don't know what else we were expecting, but at least Billings is going to make quick money and negative 34 break even. So, after we'll see how he goes. He's one I'm just happy to keep on the field for however long because I'm not really sure who to pick in the forward line just yet. Although, there are there are. Well, one name specifically we'll get to has put his hand up. Um, and then we did Nick Martin to Sarong. So I'm glad we did that because there's so many mids that are going to get away from us. Like 41 break even. What did Rouse score this week? He went up to 687 break even. So he's actually not out of control. Okay, 99 he scored. I just figured... You got Sarong and Green there. Look like they're going to hit 700 and, and Butters is going to hit 700 too and Bont is going to sit at 700 if he goes nuts on West Coast this week. So what's Butters break even? I don't want to look at this. 68. Yeah, bad miss. Uh, it's got a cave to the ankle issue but I think we went Tom Green anyway, and they're both averaging 140 or so. So, but Tom Green has the buy, so I guess we got that wrong. But can't be too upset with Tom Green. Um, I guess we'll talk about instead of going spending too much time on each player, we'll just go over each line and spot the issues. Um, okay, she's on how how's all I can say is tick. Uh, as for the rest of it, 54. Did not play. 62, 3, 12, did not play. You, there's no way you have a worse backline than this unless you've got Gibkus as well. Um, Dacos, I don't know what happened here. I think those that, I think a lot of us caved. He dropped, what's his break even? 167. There's nothing we can do about this. Too many other issues. Uh, Ride the round five by and hope and pray we don't. He doesn't get Finn McGuinness next week. I mean, there's nothing much to say. I think if you want to cash him in, I don't blame you. But Dacos is a proud player. Brisbane's midfield isn't looking too crash hot at the moment. I think he bounces back. You would think that he bounces back. Like he'd be filthy with himself. He knows that's the worst game of his career, and he will do everything in his power to bounce back. So we'll back him in. Thursday night short break. Oh no, he played early, so it should be okay. 
Hayden Young, oh my, 167, get me out of this now. So I was kind of thinking, okay, he had 11 clangers last week. I didn't see the game. Maybe he bounces back, he has eight clangers this week, and now we're in a spot where he probably will bounce back. But should if he doesn't, oh my God, he's going to drop 50K. So I think we say Sayonara to Hayden Young. The plan was to hold, and if he underperforms a bit, push him to D7. Um, there's underperform and then there's underperform so uh, in hindsight we could have just gone a Houston or a Luke Ryan who were always going to go 100 plus like maybe I was thinking with Luke Ryan they changed the game style a bit and even Tom Stewart which is safe with the early fixture too so yeah he's he's gone um, now, do you get him up to a, a Stewart, a Ryan, or a Houston, or whoever else you like? Do you go down to Massimo and fix elsewhere? Um, I hate going down, but it might be the best thing for the team. Cofford popped his shoulder. I mean, thank God for best 18, because, oh my God, we would have fielded a 3 and a 12. Um, Paul, I think, will be okay, because Lever, I don't know the extent of Lever's injury, but he has a knee issue, and they... Didn't they set him for the game, and May's out for two to three. So maybe he plays Lever's role if Lever's out, and if Lever plays, maybe Lever plays May's role. So we'll see how that goes. I think we're going to end up being stuck with Zach Reed and just hide him on the bench, and maybe we can fix it before upgrades start. But I'm not optimistic because there's nothing there. Like I think Toby Pink is there, who I actually like Pink. I don't know why I picked Coffield over him because. I don't know. Um, if he scores like a 60, he'll go up like, what, 45k or something? Uh, 30 is 15. Yeah, I think he'll go like 45, somewhere between 40 and 50k. And that's, if we have to pay 165 for him, I think we probably will, just so we have a body there. Uh... <laughs> Man, what a mess. Look at it. Disaster. It's best 18, so that'll help us. We'll use that to our advantage. To go down in the ranks and for this midfield to pop like this, like, what happens when one of them has a bad game? We're going to go down more ranks? Look, I can't complain with, with any of them. Bont was sore. Um, had his ankle caught, but he, he played through because he's Superman. And yeah, he's back. Yeah, like I can't watch, I can't not own Bond and watch Bulldogs. It's impossible. So glad he's here. Yeah, Sarong. I didn't even see Sarong last week, but uh, yeah, he had two goals touched on right on the goal line. So he could have had two goals and would have been nice, but I'm not complaining about Sarong. I think he's one where if you like, I think I'm just going to let Butters let him go like what am I supposed to do about that so Steel and Crouch doing good uh, the Crows midfield uh, I think there's just there's just arguments everywhere on Twitter and Big Footy about what, what's wrong with the Crows and like Supercoach was bad but I think I uh, yeah to lose to a uh, depleted Geelong at home was like am I ever going to see this club succeed in my life I don't know um, because I was too young to remember 97, 98. I was born 94, so I don't remember any of that. So 25 years later, um, I can't believe this looked terrible. Crouch was good, and I think that I think Laird will lose CBAs, and I think Crouch is like he's playing really well. But you can see, like I was watching Melbourne, and you watch Oliver and Petrarca get it at the front of stoppage and sprint and you know they can kick a goal from there or find a target inside 50 whereas Crouch mostly gets it at the back of stoppage um, but he's extremely good at what he does his hands are lightning some of the best hands you ever see and he hits targets by foot and by hand all the time and he releases players the players that he releases are just not hitting targets um, sometimes they're in defensive positions sometimes he releases players like that are they're streaming by just kind of depends but 
yeah, like people criticizing him. I don't think like he's the least of our problems. We got so many other issues at the Crows, but I think he's a target if you want. Um, is he a keeper? I don't think he, he he doesn't average 120 with mid 70s tog. I think 70 to 75 tog. I think it'll be every week, but uh, he's doing great, and I think he can do. He did 108 last year, so I think he can do around that. So he's one we'll look at in his buy. Ollie Wines is a hard own to be honest, because it like can you trade this? Not really, but if you need money, then yeah, I guess. And it's just it's messing up the structure because Robert Sanders McKercher need to be M five, sorry M six, M seven, M eight. Very subbed. I mean, what can I say? I think um um when I pick this player I tried to tell people I think he'll do 75 to 80 and get 30 to 40 percent CBAs and I think that's happening obviously he got sub this week but was basically tracking for that and yeah I thought there were five users off half back for, for north so I was like maybe McKercher does a similar average but Barry will get four DPP that was the logic there and it was um McKercher was a safe bet Barry was not and that's how we should have played it yeah, I kind of just like I try not to encourage people to pick it. I was like, I really like this pick. Like I like him as a player. I want him to come good. And he just didn't play well. Um Yeah, fun, f the fundamentals he kept stuffing up, so um he's still got negative break even, but I think we'll trade because I think he'll get dropped to sub maybe, but we'll see. Uh Robert Sanders good. Grundy gone. Well, Grundy's an issue because his break even's 112. I don't like him at bigger grounds, which he plays at MCG next week. Um, let me see some something. Fan for the what? dot com dot au. Unique driving. Are you serious? So, how many tackles does Grundy have? Grundy. 90 DT, 30 hitouts. He won the hitouts. And Draper, he's pretty meh. Limited preseason. Then contested six clangers. 75 togs, not very good. What's English's tog? Load, 82. We've got a massive problem now because Grundy has to go before his buy and he might lose a bit of money. Now, English has a 150 break even, but English plays BJ Williams and he might play a Conway. This I don't know what's happening with Stanley. I know he was sore or something, but he's got round five. Uh, Essendon at Marvel. Rowan's like short. Um, probably is strong to ask him. Not that, not that, not that easy. Um, so he went a hundred. He only went one eighteen on BJ last year, but I think BJ's in much worse form, and they might play Barnett. Maybe they don't. And he went one hundred and fifty DT though. I think it's gonna be a bloodbath. Plays at Marvel. West Coast suck. Bulldogs in form. Bulldogs got all these tolls that are just destroying at the moment. Um, West Coast is just horrible. There's nothing like Harley Reid is like the positive there, but he's still just a prospect at this stage. He, he's just not ready to take it up to the dogs' mids for the whole game. At times he will, but I got to get him. I got to get Grundy to English this week, and I know we have other issues, but I think we'll we'll try and find a way. And maybe we, I feel like we have to back Grundy in, but uh, we'll see. Any was excellent as usual. And the forward line, I think James Jordan, I don't know if we hold this when Parker and, what's his name? Parker and Adams come back. I don't, don't even know if Adams come back, comes back into the team. And I think Parker will be a lot forward anyway. Who goes out for these two? Uh... 
Okay, Warner was sub. Uh, it looks like James Jordan, maybe. Okay, he might be a trade on his buy. I mean, he's doing okay, but... Like, uh, who goes out for Parker? I don't know. It looks like, if I had to guess... I mean, I think they like Robottom. McInerney probably stays. That looks like James Jordan out to me. I, I don't know. Maybe if you're a Sydney supporter, you can help us out. I think he does go on his buy. Um, and that would be an easy one up, one down to English. Uh, so Billings, the reason why we got Billings is one, we needed money for Sorong last week. And I don't think Fisher was probably the right one to get rid of, but we liked Billings. And he's going to make money. I think he'll get to 400 and he can sit there in the forward line for, for however long. I think we might trade Reed after his first price rise to McKercher. Uh plays Bulldogs next week. Bloody hell. Um away to We need to get McKercher this week, but we'll see. The Sexton played forward. I'm not really afraid to trade him, but I think he's got more money in him. Yeah, negative six break even, not getting dropped. I don't think we should trade this. Um, but Sam Darcy has to come in next week. So, yeah. Um, anyway, trades this week. Uh, so this is an easy one. Mass here. No, D'Ambrosio. So, like, I'd love to go Hayden Young up and maybe get one of these dead rookies to Massimo, but um, we just have to do, do that right now. What's Windhager's break even? So there's two players that have looked like they've made shifts into the midfield. Um, well, the power already moved last week, but Windy played full time mid, had 25 CBAs. 15 break even. We can get another look. I think I'd like to do that. But I wouldn't blame you if he went straight in because he looked good and he's. I think he did 116 in the VFL four games midfield of midfield time last year. Uh, yeah, it was last year. The VFL. So that's that trade. Now, like, what are we even... Like, there's only Win Hager, I think. I guess there's Pink. Um, I think we'll need team sheets to finalize these. If we did that, and then what? That doesn't work. We'd have to get rid of Ollie. Uh, what... Do we have here? Good break even. There's pink. Oh, there's bramble. Is he averaging a hundred? Is he averaging a hundred? No. What did he get last week? Ninety five. All right, DFS. Here we go. Bramble was all right. I think Hawk supporters seem to hate him. Uh, not 2023. When you look at kick ins, one sec. Kick ins, where are they? I wonder if they're up. Yeah, okay. They dropped. I like his run and carry, but I think Hawk supporters seem to be very negative on him. And he's, I think he's done hamstrings and stuff. Um, this is weird. What's going on? JJ, Bramble, Dale, Richards, and then two keys. Thomas is there. I don't understand. Like, does Bramble just play offensive? Does he play... Is JJ playing lockdown? What's... I'm just doing my own research while recording a video. Um, what's Johannesson doing? He's scoring. Uh, Bramble scoring. What's Daniel's role? I don't know. 
Can't even remember. Crawford's out. Uh, where's Richards? I thought Richards was good today. 91. Hmm. I mean, if I paid 160 for Toby Pink next week, I might as well go. Probably rather Bramble, to be honest, but. To be honest, I don't have a great read on this, and I just read so many negative reviews from Hawthorne supporters on him, so I'm not sure. That's something I'll have to watch tape on. Uh, it'd be great if Harvey Thomas was a miss. He tunned up today. Uh, like, there's not much here. Yeah. Defense. Hmm. Tom Brown's there. Hmm. Interesting. That's something we could look at. Winhager's there too. I think we'll get another look. Uh, so what do we do that? So, okay. And then... I think we want power for sure. What's his break even? Oh, he's forward only. Yeah, 129, negative four. Okay, straight in. Um, do that. Then we kind of need McKercher, right? But I think English is going to score 3 400 points on 3 400. I think in our position, we just, um, we just back in Grundy and. I think well, we kind of have to, but I don't even, I don't think it's going to work. Um, what do we do here? We probably should do this. This is like best for money for us. And we just cop the, I mean, Brandy's, uh, English break even is, why am I searching Mark? What am I talking about? McCurch or not Mark, you idiot. That's probably what we should do. And then, now the thing is, now we need to get Sam Darcy next week. And who the, probably Harley Reid that goes for him. So Harley Reid goes for Sam Darcy. Because who else are we going to go? Like, maybe Wines? Like, what does this look like? Or maybe we get English after he bloody kills us. This, uh, this hurts my brain. I don't know what to do. Um, do we get Bramble next week or Bramble and then Pink fix that up I'd like to fix it and then the week after go Jordan down Grundy up to English might be best for money long term if we do something like this um, but I am this is it's very bad to not have this, but I guess we'll look at the top scorers or how many points behind the leader are we? Four, five, nine, three. We're already like 450, Jesus Christ. Uh, what does this team look like? This year, got dead bench too. Mana. Oh yeah, there's mana too. What's his break even? Negative twenty. Got five. Oh dude, when five got subbed, I was like, because that game was so bad for us. It was just. Oh my god. Jackson's going one eighty. Um. Other stuff was going wrong. Like LDU was going well. Power was going well. Mercurio was going well. And then yeah, five got subbed. I was like, I think his body. Yeah, the, like they played him. High CBA's high tog last week in round one. I'm not sure that was a good idea, but they do need him in there when he's fit. Um, so I think that's what we'll do. So obviously, yeah, having no McKercher has not, like, it's limited our options for this week. So, um, what's Jordan's break even?
Nine. Okay. Well, anyway, that was just me scrolling through because I haven't, re haven't really looked through open yet, but I think that's what we'll do. We'll line up like this. Uh, we'll do something like that. This is too laggy. So that's the team. Um, it could be worse. It definitely could be better. And we'll need to fix... I don't know what we, how we're going to fix it next week. But we'll need to fix these two spots next week. And I think in our position, we have to back in Grundy and hope, he pray, hope and pray that he does well. But I don't see it. Like, I can't see English putting less than 150 on this matchup. I think Grundy could easily drop like a 70 or 80. So if we take a 70, 60 point loss, that would be a good result, I think. Um, but yeah, so next week, Sam Darcy to Harley Reid. No, Harley Reid to Sam Darcy. Like no choice. Like what else do we do? Maybe Jai Clark something. And then we can grab, uh, we'll fix Caulfield and then we'll see if we need a boost and fix something else. So um oh we'll have money for it uh maybe like a win hager or something but we'll see anyway that's it from me thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one